Today we're gonna check out how to make this quick and easy ripple text effect here in Photoshop. This is the artwork size I'm gonna go with. I went with a humane bold font. Press and hold shift select bold layers, right click, convert to smart object. Make sure that you're on the black and white, black is on the top, and we're gonna go to the filter, blur gallery, and select field blur. Now you can move around the circle and increase or decrease the blurness. I'm gonna go with something like this, click here, and I'm also gonna click here, decrease it. This area is gonna be more sharp, these areas are gonna be more blurry in the corner, and the top right corner I'm gonna make it even more blurry. And there you go, let's click OK. Now we're gonna go to the filter, distort, and select zigzag. Now here make sure to select the style out from center. Push the amount and the ridges all the way to 100%. Click OK, and here we got the ripple effect. And from here, we're gonna go to the filter, filter gallery, and let's go to the sketches, select Conte Crayon. It is going to add this interesting texture on it where I'm gonna push the foreground level all the way up. I'm also gonna push the background level somewhere high, somewhere around 12, 13. And I'm gonna decrease the scaling, so this is going to scale down the texture. Also, the relief is gonna be down. I'm gonna go somewhere low and let's click OK. Now this actually made it more sharper, but also added this texture on it. I'm gonna make it even more blurry. So I'm gonna go to the filter, blur, and select Gaussian blur. I'm gonna go with the blur nice and high, somewhere around 20, 30-ish, click OK. And we're gonna go to the Gaussian blur here, the smart object, and bring it under the zigzag. And now at least I'm gonna add the colors. Let's go to adjustments, scroll down, select gradient map, click on it, click somewhere here, and let's add a red. I'm gonna add another yellow. This is good, click OK. And I'm gonna add another one, which is gonna be, yeah, this is pretty nice. Click OK. And I'm gonna bring the white somewhere here and click OK. I'm gonna go back to the Gaussian blur, double click, increase it more. Oh wow, check this out. I'm gonna go with 36, click OK. Wow. Now this looks spooky actually. And this looks amazing. So this is how you make this horroristic ripple effect here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.